In this video, we'll provide the solution to question four for the final exam of Math 1220. And we're asked to determine which of the following series is divergent by the divergence test. So remember what the divergence test tells us. The divergence test tells us that if the sequence in play does not converge to zero, then the series is divergent. We're not saying the sequence is divergent because it could actually converge towards like seven or something. Uh, so we have to find a divergent series by the divergence test. So let's just go through these things one by one by one. If we look at the first one, A, uh, we have an n plus 1 over the natural log of n. That kind of looks hard. I'm going to go to the next one. You know, and that's the thing is we just have to find the right one that's divergent by the divergence test. Now, be careful here. There might be more than one series that's divergent, but we have to find the ones that are divergent by the divergence test. Um, if you look at the second one, B, this is a geometric series, and its ratio is 2 thirds. It's convergent, so it's not that one. Um, on the next one, let's see. Uh, you have 2n over 3n cubed plus 1. Notice that this thing is bottom heavy. Uh, as n goes to infinity, this sequence will go to 0. So whether it's convergent or not doesn't matter. The divergence test wouldn't apply here. Um, in this situation right here, same thing, sine of n over n. I and mean, if you want to skip it, I mean, we, we did skip the first one, right? If you want to skip it, we can come back to it. Um, you look at e. Uh, this is actually a p series where p equals 2, which is convergent, so that's enough to stop us right there. But admittedly, 1 over n squared does go to 0. Same thing with 2 thirds to the n. That does go to 0 as well. Uh, the sequence does. But we knew that we were convergent. And then this last one, this is one you have to be very careful about. This is the harmonic series. Aha! It's divergent. But wait, is it divergent by the divergence test? How do we know the harmonic series is divergent? That actually comes from the p-test which is uh, a derivative of the integral test. If you take the sequence 1 over n, that does go to 0. So the divergence is not given by the divergence test. So we actually would knock off the harmonic series. That's not the correct answer. So now we have a, o, and d right here. So let's try to get a little bit better hope on what's going on here. So as n goes to infinity for these sequences, sine of n, well, there's no such thing as sine of infinity, but sine is bounded between 1 and negative 1. And so when you look at the denominators, n gets bigger, 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 bigger. Sine just fluctuates up and down, up and down, up and down. It does turn out that our sequence here, this sequence sine of n over n, it does go to 0. We could, we could do a squeeze theorem type argument there because our sequence is bounded above by 1 over n and it's bounded below by negative 1 over n. And both of these sequences go to 0. Therefore, the middle sequence goes to 0 as well. So if that thing is divergence, the divergence test does not apply. So at this moment, we now see that just by process of elimination, the correct answer has got to be A. But let's actually investigate this one to see why, why does the sequence not go to zero. Well, so if you look at this one, what's happening on the top, n plus 1 on the bottom of the natural log of n. Um, as n goes to infinity, you're going to get infinity over infinity. That's a L'Hopital type thing. So um, we could replace this with 1 over 1 over n. If you take the derivative, that simplifies just to be n. And so as n goes to infinity, that actually goes to infinity, right? Um, and so since the sequence doesn't go towards zero, the divergence test sh shows us that it must be divergent. So while, while for a fact we knew, right, the harmonic series is divergent, the divergence test does not apply there. And so it turns out that choice A is the only series which is divergent by the divergence test.